grade 7 students. Welcome to Deped TV Jensen in Physical Education. Amidst this pandemic, learning will continue. Live from General Santa City National High School, providing you quality education to acquire new skills and self-development with engaging activities and fun-filled experiences. This is your radio teacher, Mr. Sal. The sun is up and the weather is perfect for learning. Before we start our new lesson, make sure that you have eaten your breakfast and I hope you're comfortable while watching. Stay at home and be ready to embark to new challenging activities and discoveries. Before moving on, can you get your module Self-Learning Module or SLM in Physical Education Quarter 1 Week 1 with the title Exercise Programs, Training Guidelines, Fit Principles, Create an Exercise Program. I will be giving you ample time to make things ready. In this lesson, you are expected to First, undertake physical activity and physical fitness assessment. Number two, set goals based on assessment results. And the last one, prepare an exercise program. Before we formally start our lesson, we will have a review first. In your previous lesson, you have learned the different health-related fitness components and skill-related fitness components and even perform those during your physical fitness exercises. Can you tell me which fitness components needed to execute the following physical exercises? Okay, let's start. First, biking. Can you tell me which fitness components it belong? It can be both health-related and skill-related fitness components. Number two, basketball. Can you tell me which fitness components it belong? Skill-related fitness component. Number three, juggling. Can you tell me which fitness component it belong? Skill related fitness component. Number four. Running. Can you tell me which fitness components it belong? It can be both health related and skill related fitness components. And the last one, weightlifting. Can you tell me which fitness component it belongs? Health related fitness component. Now, do you consider yourself a physically fit person? Mm -hmm. What does fitness mean to you? You should know that physical fitness is the ability of a person to perform his or her daily tasks and still have reserve energy in case of an emergency. You can become physically fit through exercises, a type of physical activity that is structured, planned, and repeated bodily movements. It would follow that one's exercise habits determine one's physical fitness. This module will allow you to learn how to test yourself, acquire sports, and know what each fitness test score means. After which, it will help you identify which areas of fitness you need to improve on. To become much more physically active than you are now, start by answering yes or no to the five questions honestly. Number one. Has your doctor ever said that you have a heart condition and that you should only do physical activity recommended by a doctor? Number two, do you feel pain in your chest when you do physical activity? Number three, in the past month, 
Have you had chest pain when you were not doing physical activity? Number four, do you lose your balance because of dizziness or do you ever lose? Or number five, do you have a bone or joint problem, for example, back, knee, or hip that could be made worse by a change in your physical activity? Yes or no? This is the physical fitness core card and we are going to use this to put all your data. The PFT score standards. Part 1. Health related fitness test. Body composition. The body's relative amount of fat to fat free mass. The formula for this is BMI is equal to weight over height squared. For example, if your weight is 49 kilograms and your height is 1.57 cm, then your BMI is 19.91 and you are considered normal. To know the category, please refer to your module on page 10. Cardiovascular Endurance It is the ability of the heart, the lungs, and the blood vessels to deliver oxygen to working muscles and tissues, as well as the ability of those muscles and tissues to utilize the oxygen. The example of exercise to test your cardiovascular endurance is 3-minute step test. Strength It is the ability of the muscles to generate force against physical objects. Example is push-up. It is to measure the strength of the upper extremities. Next, flexibility. It is the ability of the joints and the muscles to move through its full range of motion. Example activity is zipper test. To test the flexibility of the shoulder girdle. Sit and reach. Purpose. To test the flexibility of the lower extremities, particularly the trunk. The physical fitness test. We will only be testing your health-related fitness components for this session. Perform each test with all your honest effort and follow all instructions to avoid injuries. Under the health-related fitness, we have weight. Weight is the heaviness or lightness of a person. Equipment, weighing or bathroom scale calibrated properly. Procedure for the tester. A. Wear light clothing before weighing. B. On bare feet, stand erect and still with weight evenly distributed on the center of the scale. Procedure for the partner. A. Before the start of weighing, adjust the scale to zero point. B. Record the score in kilograms. Scoring. Record body mass to the nearest 0 0.5 kilograms. Number two is height. Height is the distance between the feet on the floor to the top of the head in standing position. Equipment, we have tape measure laid flat to a concrete wall where zero point starts on the floor. Then we have the L square and an even and firm floor and flat wall. Procedure for the tester, stand erect on bare feet with heels, buttocks, and shoulders pressed against the wall where the tape measure is attached. 
Procedure for the partner A. Place the L square against the wall with the base at the top of the head of the person being tested. Make sure that the L square when placed on the head of the student is straight and parallel to the floor. B. Record the score in meters. Scoring is record standing height to the nearest 0.1 centimeter. One meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. The next test is a three-minute step test. Purpose, to measure cardiovascular endurance. Equipment. One, we have the step and get the height of the step, eight inches for elementary and 12 inches for secondary. Two, stopwatch. Three, drum, clapper, clicker, metronome with speaker or any similar device. Procedure for the tester. A. Stand at least one foot away from the step or bench with trunk erect and eyes looking straight ahead. B. The first step of the sequence should be alternate. At the signal go, step up and down the step or bench for 3 minutes at a rate of 96 beats per minute. One step consists of 4 beats. Up with the left foot, count 1. Up with the right foot, count 2. Down with the left foot, count 3. Down with the right foot, count 4 for the first sequence. Then, up with the right foot, count 1, up with the left foot, count 2, down with the right foot, count 3, down with the left foot, count 4, for the second sequence. Observe proper breathing. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. C. Immediately after the exercise, stand and locate your pulse and in 5 seconds or at a signal, start to get the heart rate. D. Don't talk while taking the pulse beat. E. Count the pulse beat for 10 seconds and multiply it by 6. Procedure for the partner A. As the student assumes the position in front of the step, signal ready and go start the stopwatch for the three minute step test b after the test allow performer to locate his or her pulse in five seconds c give the signal to count the pulse beat d let the performer count his or her pulse beat for 10 seconds and multiply it by six scoring Record the 60-second heart rate after the activity. Strength is the ability of the muscle to generate force against physical objects. Next test is push-up. Purpose, to measure strength of upper extremities. Equipment, exercise mats or any clean mat. Procedure for the tester. A. Lie down on the mat. Face down in standard push-up position. Palms on the mat about shoulder width, fingers pointing forward, and legs straight, 
parallel and slightly apart with the toes supporting the feet. For boys, straighten the arms, keeping the back and knees straight, then lower the arms until there is a 90 degree angle at the elbows, upper arms are parallel to the floor. For girls, with knees in contact with the floor, straighten the arms, keeping the back straight, then lowers the arms until there is a 90 degree angle at the elbows, upper arms are parallel to the floor. C. Perform as many repetitions as possible, maintaining a cadence of 20 push-ups per minute. 2 seconds going down and 1 second going up. D. A maximum of 50 push-ups for boys and 25 push-ups for girls. Procedure for the partner. A. As the tester assumes the position of push-up, start counting as the tester lowers his or her body until he or she reaches 90 degree angle at the elbow. The partner should stand in front of the tester and his or her eyes should be close to elbow level to accurately judge the 90 degrees bend. B. Make sure that the performer executes the push-ups in the correct form. C. The test is terminated when the performer can no longer execute the push-ups in the correct form, is in pain, voluntarily stops, or cadence is broken. Scoring, record the number of push-ups made. The next test is basic plan. Purpose to measure strength or stability of the core muscles. Equipment, exercise mats or any clean mat, stopwatch or time piece. Procedure for the tester. A. Assume a push-up position. Rest body on forearms with palms and fingers flat on the floor. Elbows are aligned with the shoulders. B. Legs are straight with ankles, knees, and thighs touching together. C. Support weight on forearms and toes. Make sure that your back is flat. Head, neck, and spine are in a straight line. D. Keep abdominals engaged or contracted. Do not let stomach drop or allow hips to rise. Procedure for the partner. A. Ensure the availability of a mat or smooth flooring or anything that can protect the forearms. B. Give the signal start or go and start or press the timepiece. C. Make sure that the back of the head, neck, spine, and ankles are in a straight line. D. Give two warnings. E. 
stop the time when the performer can no longer hold the required position or when the performer has held the position for at least 90 seconds. Holding the plank position beyond 90 seconds is considered unnecessary. Scoring, record the time in the nearest seconds or minute. Maximum of 10 seconds for boys and girls. Flexibility is the ability of the joints and muscles to move through the full range of motion. We have the first test, zipper test. Purpose, to test the flexibility of the shoulder girdle. Equipment, ruler. Procedure for the tester. A. Stand erect. B. Raise your right arm. Bend your elbow and reach down across your back as far as possible to test the right shoulder. Extend your left arm down and behind your back, bend your elbow up across your back and try to reach or cross your fingers over those of your right hand as if to pull a zipper or scratch between the shoulder blades. C. To test the left shoulder, repeat procedures A and B with the left hand over the left shoulder. Procedure for the partner A. Observe whether the fingers touched or overlapped each other. If not, measure the gap between the middle fingers of both hands. B. Record the distance in centimeter. Scoring Record zipper test to the nearest 0 0.1 centimeter. Second test is sit and reach. Purpose, to test the flexibility of the lower extremities, particularly the trunk. Equipment, tape measure or meter stick. Procedure, for the tester, A. Sit on the floor with back, head, and shoulders flat on the wall. Feet are 12 inches apart. B. Interlock thumbs and position the tip of the fingers on the floor without bending the elbows. C. After the partner has positioned the zero point of the tape measure or meter stick at the top of the middle fingers, the tester starts the test by sliding the hand slowly forward without jerking, trying to reach the farthest distance possible without bending the knees. D. Bouncing or jerking movement is not allowed. E. Do it twice. Procedure for the partner. A. As the tester assumes the B procedure, Position the zero point of the tape measure at the tip of the middle fingers of the tester. B. See to it that the knees are not bent 
as the performer slides the farthest distance that he could see record the farthest distance reach in centimeters Exercise program is a planned activity detailing a range of physical exercises and the amount of time each exercise should be performed where it is typically tailored to individual's need. Understanding the principles of fitness training. The basic training principles are rules to follow which describe how the body responds to the physiological stress of physical activity. These principles provide the conceptual foundation for safe and effective physical program design. In order to get the most of your training, you must follow these simple training principles. Principle of Overload is the most basic of all fitness training principle. It specifies that you must perform physical exercise the normal amounts or overload to get an improvement in physical fitness and health benefits. For example, if your improvement in muscular strength is the goal, the muscle must be exercised with a greater weight than normal. Principle of Specificity It indicates that you must train a specific energy system and specific muscle groups in order for them to improve. Example, if you want to develop the cardiovascular endurance, you must design a training program that primarily utilizes a particular energy system. Principle of Progression It indicates that the load could be increased gradually over time to remain effective and safe for best results. An individual training to gain cardiorespiratory endurance may begin in an exercise program by jogging 2 kilometers at a moderate intensity. The next week, the individual could increase distance to half kilometers while still working at the same level of intensity. Week after week, the overload could be adjusted until the desired level of fitness is attained. Principle of Variation there are many different ways to achieve desired fitness goals, including variation into a training program maintains individual interests and provide a change of pace while still making progress toward desired goals. Variation lessens boredom and overcome periods where you seem to be little progress. Alternating hard workouts with easier workouts and running in different locations within the community are some ways to introduce variability into one's fitness program. Principle of Recovery The body needs time to adapt to the demands placed on it. Incorporating time to rest in the fitness program aids the body in this effort. For example, an individual may work one day on improving upper body strength and devote the next day's training working lower body strength. A well-designed personal physical activity plan will outline how often, how long, and how hard a person exercises and what kind of exercises are selected. Fit principle is a formula in which each letter represents a factor important for determining the correct amount of physical activity. Applying the basic training principles Frequency or how often refers to the number of exercise sessions per week. For example, 3 to 5 times per week. 
intensity or how hard is the degree of effort or exertion put forth by an individual during exercise for example easy moderate and hard time or how long is the duration of the length of the activity such as 40 minutes of exercise is how long an exercise must be performed to be effective type or what kind the mode of exercise being performed the selection of the exercise should be guided by the fitness goal to be achieved for example running jogging rhythmic exercises stretching and etc Kindly copy activity 1 in your mapping notebook and follow the instructions. And to assess if you understand our lesson for today, kindly answer your post-assessment test on pages 19 to 20 and please follow the directions and write your answer on your paper. And for your additional activity, list down other target games that you used to play in your community. You write down your answer in your mapping notebook. And this is the end of your video lesson in Physical Education Module 1. I hope you learn more about exercise programs, the training guidelines, the fit principles, and by creating exercise programs. Thank you so much and God bless.